Justin Thompson, Captain Justin Thompson. And what's your job? I'm a pilot, fighter pilot that uh, flies the F-15E. Um, what, what do you like about your job? Uh, oh, it's fun. Whenever I tell anyone what I do, they think that's pretty cool. So uh, I like that. And then uh, it's just fun flying a jet like that. It's fun to fly fast and <laughs> get to do all the cool stuff we get to do. And have you ever had any funny stories or any special moments that you've had since you've been in the Air Force? Oh yeah, well there's, uh, there's been quite a few. Uh, before I came here I was an instructor in pilot training, so I've taught people how to fly. Uh, that was a lot of fun, teaching people who couldn't really fly a plane and seeing them get good at actually flying a plane and then seeing them go on to fly, uh, you know, like a fighter uh, as well, like what I fly right now. So that's been really cool to do that. And then the first time I got to fly the F-15 was just awesome because there's just nothing else like it going really fast like that and stuff. So. That's cool. And what's a patch supposed to be? Uh, that's our command patch. So it's an air combat command that we are in. Uh, so all the all the planes in the Air Force that can drop bombs and shoot missiles are in that command. Well, that's so cool. that's the command we're in. What's that patch supposed to be? Yeah. So this is our our patch that we just uh, wear on Fridays. Uh, and it's uh, our squadron patch for the uh, the F fifteen E, so that's what that is. That's cool. Yep. And what about that one right there, the lightning bolt? Yeah, that's for our squadron as well. So we're the uh, the T bolts. So that's a lightning bolt, and then you see uh, the missile. Yeah, he's holding a, a bomb or a missile right that's there, fine. dropping it. So it's pretty fun. And those are all the questions I have for you. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you know what? I will. Uh, so these are pretty cool, so I'll go ahead and give those to you guys. Aww. That way you can uh, remember That's coming so... to Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No problem. Can these I see them, so William? Cool. Can I see them? Hold them up for me so I can see. Oh, those are really cool. Yep. I like those. So, like, if you lose one or you give them to somebody else, do you still get other ones? Yeah, we have more. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Yeah. How long does it, how can you be selected to become a pilot? Like, how can you be selected? Okay. Yeah, so when I was really young, like your age, I wanted to be a pilot. So it kind of started for me there. So I had to work hard in school, get good grades, get into college. Uh, and then from there, there's a lot of stuff you have to do. So you can go to the Air Force Academy or there's, a, it's called ROTC, Reserve Officer Training. Uh, core, and uh, from there that's how you actually get a pilot slot. So you got to work hard, get good grades, uh, and uh, get selected not only to be in the Air Force, but then also to go to pilot training. So that's that's how I did it. And how long does it take to become a pilot when you're already like you're in the pilot school? Yeah, so the pilot school's uh, a year long, and you fly two different kinds of airplanes. So the first one's smaller. It's called a T6, and then from there you fly something a little bigger, either the 238, which is kind of fast like a fighter, which is what I flew, or the T1, which is like a small little, uh, a little kind of business jet. Uh, so you'll fly one of those two, and then from there you get your, your jet that you're going to fly after. That's cool. And what's the difference between the F-22 and the F-15 strike you think? Okay, so the F-22 is pretty new. Uh, and it's stealth, so you can't see it on radar. That's and the, cool. Yeah, and the, the F-15E Strike Eagle is very easy to see on radar. <laughs> so it's not stealthy at all. Oh. That's a, a big difference between the two. And how big is the runway when the planes go off and then they fly into air? Uh, yeah, so the runways are usually a mile to two miles long. Wow, that's really long. Yeah. And how fast can the F-15 Strike Eagle um, fly in the air, and how fast can it can it fly? Uh, it can break the speed of sound, so pretty fast. That's really fast. <laughs> yeah, like 700, 800 miles an hour easily. Whoa, that's really fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. That is cool. And I was also wondering about when you're in, like when you're a pilot, 
like what is it like being a pilot like like what kind of things would you do like are you kind of like a commander of the guys that fly it or you're the one that flies it or okay so as a pilot um a lot of people think we just go up and fly around and that's all we <laughs> do but usually you have a really long day uh, so just a couple days ago i was here till 2 a.m uh, talking about the flight that we had just done that day. And then today I woke up at 6 a.m. Uh, and got here just a little bit after 7. So, you, yeah, you have to make sure you get enough sleep, but your days are usually pretty long, usually at least 8 to 12 hours long because um, you got to plan and study and uh, have a good understanding of what you're going to go out and do that day. Uh, and then while we're out flying, you usually start off as being just a guy who flies the jet and you have a, another guy flying his jet leading you around and then once you get some experience you get to start leading other jets around too uh, so you can lead two jets or four jets around and oh and that's then, cool yeah and then eventually you'll uh, hopefully get good enough to where you can be an instructor and start uh, teaching people uh, brand new people about uh, how to fly the f-15 as well but that takes a little bit of time I was watching a little documentary on the F-15 Strike Eagle. So what are some of its history of it? Okay, well, uh, before the F-15E, there was the F-15C, which only was an air-to-air -air fighter, so it only shot missiles. And they thought that jet was so good that they made a version of that that had uh, extra fuel tanks on it, uh, and they also made it so it could carry bombs. So that's... Uh, what the F-15E is, is it has a lot of extra gas and it can carry missiles and bombs. And it started out pretty much in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, that's when it first started flying around. So that's just a little bit of the brief history on the F-15E. And what are the, cap what are the F-15 Strike Eagle's capabilities? Um, well, there's lots of capabilities. So it can carry just a few missiles and a lot of bombs and drop a lot of bombs or it can carry all missiles or all bombs. Wow. So it's uh, it's what we call a multi-role fighter, uh, where That's it can cool. do all sorts of different missions. So. And how much does the F-15 Strike Eagle weigh? Uh, it weighs up to 83,000 pounds with uh, full gas. So pretty heavy. I was talking to a friend of mine who flies uh, a little airliner, and uh, the F-15 he actually weighs more than his little airliner did so <laughs> so even the bombs oh uh, so do the bombs like also include weight for it yes oh. they do yeah that's pretty big yeah it's pretty heavy <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um those are all the questions i have for you well awesome Owen. thanks for uh coming and talking to us you're welcome <laughs> okay well we'll get this in after a few minutes